Welcome back to Sledgehammer Horror, guys. I am Ken Sledge. And I'm Ashley Sledge. And let's talk horror. So today we're going to do our review on Shutter Island. This is a movie that was requested to us, but it's also a movie that we enjoy very, very much. So we wanted to talk about some of the positives, some of the negatives, and obviously we're going to spoil this film. And I want to say right off the rip, if you haven't seen it yet... You have to watch it before you see our spoilers. This is a film that you have to go into blind. If you know... Um, you know, what actually happens. It ruins it the whole film. It will ruin it for you. Uh, so make sure you go and you watch the film, and then you come back and check out our review and let us know what you think. But first, let's get right into the positives. So talking about the positives, we have to talk about Leonardo DiCaprio. His acting, it was it was amazing. Mm -hmm. He has this perfect mixture of I'm not really sure about myself and then it's like he's hiding it, so let's just fake it till I make it. And then just like his emotional acting is amazing. Um he gets really upset and angry. We're going to need those files out of the question. Bullshit out of the question. Bullshit or he's sad it's just he's so believable he's so good he's amazing in this movie he's amazing in everything yeah but this is one of my favorite performances from leonardo dicaprio he's absolutely a top tier actor for sure um then you have mark ruffalo as chuck he was also amazing you felt like he was trustworthy um he was on teddy side the entire time um and then ted levine you have to talk about him as a warden he's so stern but then he also has like this charisma about Buffalo him Bill. yeah he's, he's gonna have he's so, so much charisma Mm -hmm. um, I love the relationship with Teddy and Chuck. I think it's awesome. It seems like Teddy is the one in charge throughout the whole thing, but Chuck persuades Teddy into a lot of the decisions mm -hmm. that they end up making. It's the perfect partnership for these two officers. Yeah, he definitely makes him think like it's his decision, but really he made, you know, he persuaded, he persuaded him. him. Yeah. yeah. The score, oh my God, it's like hauntingly beautiful and it just dramatizes everything. It's, mm -hmm. it's amazing. I love the score in this mm -hmm. movie. Well, the score and the cinematography as well. When you're on mm -hmm. the island, it's beautiful. It's unsettling. Oh, There's yeah. like this anxiety that I know you wanted to talk about, especially with being trapped on an island. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just setting, just in an island, like that setting, um, it, being trapped, nowhere out. There's no boat. Like that enhances the anxiety for me. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just, it, it's storming and it's just so dreadful. Everything's locked up. Yeah. Every, there's guards everywhere. You have absolutely nothing that you can do. Right. Um, it, this movie is able to affect your mind. Mm -hmm. Like, you're going to think about this movie days after oh, you watch it. Months after you watch it. I think we watched this two or three times in the same weekend to try to pick up on things that we may have missed mm -hmm. the first time around. I haven't had a feeling like that since we had watched uh, The Sixth Sense, you know, and trying to rewatch it and see the things that we had missed. Um, you really go back and look at the things that you missed throughout the film and how they all make sense on a second and third watch when you're actually looking for them. Mm -hmm. So um, you also, you feel so sorry for Andrew. We'll talk about that you more do. in the spoilers. Yeah. But, you know, he, he's a, the basis is he's a police officer and he goes over to this island to find the missing Rachel. Yes. Um, and on this island is a psychiatric hospital and uh, his job is to go over there and find the girl. Mm -hmm. So, and she had killed her children. And none of this is spoiler. This is all part of the plot right. synopsis. So she had killed her children. She had drowned her children. So she's dangerous. Mm -hmm. So they got it. They have to find Rachel. Um, and then the special effects. Um, when Teddy is in his like dream world and he's dreaming about his wife that had died, um, and she is like on fire, and then she just like disintegrates. Dolores. It looks really good. I think they did really great with the with the special effects. Oh yeah. The she just disintegrates into like the ashes. Mm -hmm. Um, they definitely use CGI to the best of their ability. There was a lot of practical things they did in this movie as well, um, but they definitely used the CGI to the best of their advantage. Mm -hmm. So that's some of our positives. Now we're going to get into some of our negatives of Shutter Island. Now let's get into the negatives. And I feel like we really had to reach for some negatives. Um, we don't have a lot, mm -hmm. but one of them, I feel like it jumps around a lot between the dreams that Teddy's having, between the war and Teddy's wife. Um, and it's just really hard to differentiate like what is real, what's really going on, and what's not. Right. Um, the, there's so much going on, like the new characters that are getting added consistently, but you don't know too much about them. Mm -hmm. uh, clues being shown. Like, you feel like you're missing things. This is a movie you have to watch a couple different yes. times, like we said, to make sure you're getting the whole picture, which is fine. Mm -hmm. 
but when it's over two hours yeah. and you're trying to pick up all these things, this isn't a movie you could throw on, leave in the background, and go and vacuum. Oh, yeah, no. Like, you have to pay attention to attention. everything that yes. happens throughout the film. And while that's not always a negative, when you have almost an epic over two-hour movie and you're trying to pay attention to literally everything, it's kind of overwhelming on the first watch. Yeah. Um, there's a couple of green screen shots that don't look great. Um, they're very obvious, like when Teddy is riding in the car with the warden. It just looks like they're like, like side shot, yeah. like, yeah, it, holding it's, the car. It's very, it's very obvious that it's a green screen. Right. Um, and they drag a lot of scenes out. Mm -hmm. Um, very long movie. This could have been a half hour shorter if you just yeah. cut out a lot of the walking around the island stuff that doesn't really even amount to anything. Mm -hmm. um, so that was my biggest gripe about the film is there's a lot of scenes that you're paying all this attention to try to make sure you're not missing anything. But then they have scenes that drag on for so long that it's hard for your mind to you know stay so sharp because you're like, what are we fucking mm -hmm. doing here? So while it is a slow burn with a huge payoff, oh, absolutely. Um, there are definitely scenes that could have easily been cut out of the film and it wouldn't have affected the overall experience of watching this film. Mm -hmm. So um, like Ashley said, there another negative is the ending in a way. Because yeah. you're not sure what happened. We have our opinions, and they're different. It's, but it's definitely open to interpretation, which right. is fine. You know, and we don't need you know everything wrapped up in a pretty little package and you know hand fed to us. Mm -hmm. We can figure like we can make our own interpretation. I have my interpretation, and she has yeah, hers. Yeah, and ours are different. So it's like it's whatever you think. Right. Well, I mean, let's get to those, and let's get to the spoilers. And like we said, if you haven't seen this movie. I implore you to go watch this movie Please. before we check out our spoilers. Come back because we like when you watch our stuff too. <laughs> but this is a movie that definitely deserves to be seen spoiler free. So if mm -hmm. you haven't, please go check it out. Come back and see if we agree on these spoilers and especially the ending. So to spoil the shit out of it, let's just give away the big twist right now. Let's just get right into these spoilers. <laughs> You've been here for two years. A patient of this institution. Teddy! He is actually Andrew Latis. Um, he is a patient of the psychiatric facility. He's not an officer. He's not. Um, this is part of his treatment, mm -hmm. letting him try to crack this case open. And his partner, Chuck, is actually his psychiatrist. Mm -hmm. I've been your primary psychiatrist for the last two years. I'm Lester Sheehan. Um, I love the scene when he figures it out, when he, like when he tries to shoot... And then he's like, what'd you do to my gun? Mm -hmm. you know, at first he shoots him and you're like, oh shit, he shot the guy. Yeah. But then he's fine. It was just in his imagination. And then he breaks the gun apart. It's just a toy. And he's like, I remember this gun from the war. And it's just like, what was real and what wasn't yeah, real? Like what, what part of you know the flashbacks and all of that was real? What actually happened? Right. But when you get to that psychiatric break, when he's finally, when they're telling him like, you are Andrew Latus. Um, we, or Andrew Latus. Yeah. So... When you actually have... The manifestation of Andrew Latus in Teddy's brain. Right. But yeah, Teddy is actually Andrew Latus. And um, the reason he's in the hospital will be revealed in a second. But we got to figure out who Rachel really was. Because he went there to find Rachel. Yeah. So Rachel, obviously, also a manifestation of his brain, is the lady that drowned his children. Um, he, she... You might as well just go ahead and say, like, that's a manifestation of his wife, really, essentially, because... Rachel is an actress. She's one of the other doctors in the facility. She's a nurse. Mm -hmm. And I'm sorry, she's not a doctor. She's a nurse. I apologize. And um, she is playing the role of Rachel. Everybody's in on it. Yeah. Like, everybody's in on this to try but, to help him. Um, but, but she's, like, the bad person because of what... She did. And yeah, that's actually a manifestation of his wife. Mm -hmm. And she had drowned Andrew's kids. And this is one of the most heartbreaking scenes of any oh. film ever. When he's like, where are the kids? And she's like, school. And he's like, school's not in on Saturday. And she's like, mine is. And you see the kids out in the pond. And he runs out and, and he's, he's screaming. Holding them all. And, and he's, oh, it's so terrible. Then he comes up and he ends up killing his wife. He shoots her. You know, because she had had breaks before. And he didn't get her the help she needed. Mm -hmm. And this is what happened. And again, his acting, when they had the drone over top shot and he's screaming. Please, God, no! no! I, it's, oh, it's, it's so I powerful. I so, po what a powerful, powerful scene. And it's heartbreaking to see the reality of what had happened mm -hmm. to his children. 
Um, and then, you know, he ends up shooting his wife and it's such a heartbreaking scene altogether. There's no positivity in the scene at all. He just no. lost the four most important people in his life. Um, and the three of them were taken away by their own mother, you know, and the, the way she smiles when she, you got to give her credit too. Oh yeah, because, absolutely. You know, when, she, when he does the school is not in session on Saturday and she's like, mine is, and she gives that creepy right away, right then you're like, oh no. Like what did she oh, do? Oh no. Yeah. And then you look out and this makes sense as to why he's so afraid of water. Mm -hmm. uh, because Teddy has a very big fear of fire and water and the fire is because of what happened and then the water because of what happened to his kids. And mm -hmm. it all starts to make sense as you go on through the movie and you notice these things. So um, that scene to me should have won him his first Oscar. Mm -hmm. Like oh. that scene alone, like it's so hard to watch when he gets the kids up on land and he's still trying to do CPR on them. And uh, very, very powerful scene, but it's so well acted that it, you can't help but be glued to it. Yeah. Yeah, it, it definitely is amazing and so emotional. And here's where Ashley and I are going to disagree a little bit. So, yeah, so now we have Andrew and he asks this. Which would be worse? To live as a monster or to die as a good man? So at this point now, they're trying to do a lobotomy. Mm -hmm. So one of the help, they have a needle. Um, and, you know, like in my mind is like, are they experimenting on him? Like, is he allowing him to? Like, is he actually clinically insane? What happened to him? Well, the heartbreaking thing to me is um, when they come up and when Chuck comes up and sits next to him, he's like, what's the deal, boss? He's like, we got to get off this rock. So they feel like. He went right back. Yeah. He went back into his teddy. Well, because they said if this if this didn't work this time, then we're we'll, going to give him a lobotomy. Then we have to. You know, we've yeah, tried we're gonna this. We're going to We've yep. tried everything else, and nothing is bringing him back to right. Andrew. He's still Teddy in his mind. And when they do this, it's the, again, the heartbreaking look when um, Chuck looks over at the doctor and he shakes his head no. And you see the doctor look down because, you know, the doctor's kind of a dick throughout the movie, but he's really trying hard to make sure that Teddy becomes Andrew again, and Andrew realizes what he did so that they can move on. And then when he says that, you know, is it better to uh, live as a monster or die as a good man? In my opinion, it's still Andrew. It's not Teddy. It is Andrew. And he's pretty much telling Chuck, like, I'm going to let them lobotomize me. I want them to lobotomize me so I can forget what happened to my kids. I can forget what happened to my wife. Mm -hmm. Yes, your experiment worked. And if he would have told him it worked, everything would be fine. But he would remember he would know what happened to his wife. He would know what happened to his kids. Mm -hmm. And he would carry that guilt with him to his deathbed. So instead of that, is it better to live as a monster or die as a good man? Now I can die as a good man and have no memory of what happened to my family. Mm -hmm. And in my opinion, that's more heartbreaking in a way because knowing this experiment would have worked, they could have helped other people with the same kind of experiment. But now there's no way they're going to let this experiment go through because it's deemed as a failure. Which is selfish, but I understand it. Yeah. No one would want to remember what they did to their wife, what their wife did to their kids in this type of situation. But the heartbreak of that line, is it better to live as a monster or to die as a good man? And again, the way Leo delivers the line. Oh. And then he gets up and starts walking away and Chuck lets it sink in. He stands up and he's like, Teddy? And he doesn't answer. He keeps walking away because he's not Teddy. He's Andrew now. And to me, this ending is, it's, it's such a beautifully poetic ending. Mm -hmm. there, obviously, there was no way for this ending to have a, a W. Right. You no, know? I mean, at, after all the trauma that had happened, right. there's no way. Like, either he has to sit in his trauma for the rest of his life, or he has to have, you know. And the experiment failed. Ex and everything they've worked for is for nothing. Yeah. But I just, I love the way that he says it, too. And then when he gets up and he's like, Teddy, and he just keeps walking. Because in my opinion, he has not regressed like he wants it to seem. Because like I said, when Chuck comes and sits by him and he's like, what are we doing today, boss? And he's like, we got to find a way off this rock, man. And then the, he, Chuck looks over back at that doctor and he shakes his head no. And the doctor just looks down like he's defeated. Mm -hmm. You know, like that whole scene to me is just heartbreaking. And when you get that one last line from Leo, it's it's such a beautifully done line. Yeah. Beautifully, beautifully done ending. I think this ending is extremely powerful. Oh, absolutely. Um, and I don't know, I guess I kind of feel like the opposite. I feel like he's already too far gone. Mm -hmm. Um, and he, 
the experiment didn't work on him. And the, So you think he is Teddy? I do. I think he's Teddy still. Okay. Yeah. Well, let us know in the comments what you guys think. What do you think of Shutter Island? What do you think of the twist ending? I'm very excited to learn what you guys think of all that. And thank you again. Give us some recommendations of other movies you'd like to review. I can tell you right now because it was voted on by you, the fans, our next review is going to be Candyman. So we're, that's my uh, <laughs> that's, that's your hook. My hook. Uh, very excited about this movie, another movie that we both absolutely adore. So um, when it comes to Shutter Island, I think I'm going to give this a four out of five. Uh, just on performances alone. Um, I could even go as low as three and a half. I'm going to stick with four just because of the performances. But like I said, the, the amount of time that they dragged throughout this movie with absolutely nothing happening really bummed me out. But it's still the acting alone and the twist of it is worth seeing. So I'm going to give it a four out of five. Um, I'm going to give it a four and a half out of five. Um, I talked about how phenomenal the acting was mm -hmm. already. You talked about it. Um, and just if a movie can make me feel some like inside like I can feel like I'm going to cry like I absolutely like it it I don't know it's just so it's so powerful so mm -hmm. I'm gonna give it a four and a half out of five which is amazing so we want to thank you guys so much for watching and if you haven't already please like and subscribe it helps to build the channel more than you know and follow Sledgehammer Horror on social media our links are down in the description as well but until next time keep talking horror stay who you are and we'll see you guys soon bye guys